So a marketing consultant who works for Mayor Bloomberg just resigned after getting into hot water over some stale jokes she made about Mexico at the Huffington Post blog. Now, to be clear, the jokes that Betsy Perry made were about Mexico, not Mexicans. There is a difference, amigos. The jokes included a bit about drinking the water, a line about as old as Montezuma and his revenge. She also brought up the drug cartels as well as the kidnappings and, of course, the swine flu. Now, the stuff she said about all of this wasn't that insightful or funny, but the last time I checked, that isn't a cause for losing your job. If that were the case, Janine Garofalo would be living under a bridge. But that's what bugs me. The lady resigned because the things she said hurt people's feelings. Not because the things she said were racist or even totally incorrect. I said this before, Mexicans are some of the hardest working, most decent people I've ever met, but Mexico is not my ideal destination when I get a week off. Usually I head to Thailand where they named a chair after me. The point is we live in a culture crumbling under the brutal weight of political correctness in which a joke about the runs means you think Mexicans are bad people. It actually makes me sick to my stomach. Uh, but that could be the burrito. And if you disagree with me, then you, sir, are worse than Pancho Villa. <laughs> Time to head to the panel to see what they think about all this. <laughs> Come on! <in. laughs> hey! Ah! Oh, quite a walk from over there. I want my own stroll song. Oh, Awesome. Hey, I'm going to go. <laughs> I love that. Pinch, the Times always rails against censorship, but I bet you're glad this lady resigned. Not only am I glad this lady resigned, but I just want to bet, Greg. Yes. I bet Noam Chomsky that you would at least make it to B-Block before making a tar Janine Garofalo <laughs> comment. <laughs> and he said halfway through A-Block. So thanks. Uh, and pay up, Noam. Uh, I'm kidding. Socialists don't bet. <laughs> Jim, I know bigotry is wrong. We all know that. But since when is hurting people? People's feelings now a crime. Bigotry is wrong and behaving like a bigot is wrong, mm -hmm. but using bigotry or anything like that or stereotypes and humor is not wrong. Mm -hmm. and we become obsessed with people apologizing mm -hmm. for hurting people's sensibility or feelings, and mm -hmm. it's, it's all changeable. Like, like what's offensive today mm -hmm. is not offensive tomorrow. It, yes. It's just it's a sickening, and it's this trend we've been caught in. And I should really stop babbling, so I'm boring myself. <laughs> no, I was enjoying it. No, hey, I liked it. Hey, Congressman, have we as a culture just become too sensitive about everything, as Jim has pointed out? And we'll tell Jim the more he babbles like that, the more senatorial he looks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that, Greg, what you're starting to see is obviously the subjective nature of who gets offended. There's no objective standard, no reasonable person standard. Mm -hmm. So when you say something, you are always in danger that someone could take even the most benign remark mm -hmm. and, and say that they have been wounded by it, and then you become someone who has to apologize. And I think that it goes back to what Shakespeare said. It, Tis not my speeches with doth offend thee, tis my presence rancor will out. Mm -hmm. You will also find politicians that will then use any pretext of a statement you've made to put you in that defensive position mm -hmm. as well, whether they're actually wounded or not. You know that very thing he, dangerous for the First Amendment. That thing he just said, that quote from Shakespeare. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. that's a that's a playwright. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know he made some good points, <laughs> but you got to admit that's a typical cracker comment. <laughs> yeah, it really, it really yeah. is. Hey, Kimberly, what's the thing? I got it from the Lander sisters in a hot tub. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, that's See, that's more my style. Hey, Kimberly, wasn't yeah. the biggest sin for this lady was that she just wasn't funny? That was the worst thing she did. If it was funny, no one would care. Yeah, and it was even less funny that she resigned from her job, <laughs> as in her idea, bye bye because mm -hmm. people, she had hurt their feelings. I and mean, this is ridiculous. Is it one nation under crybaby? I don't think so. <laughs> We're becoming so PC. It's like sickening. I don't, I'm dead serious with this. I yeah. can't believe that. She obviously didn't mean anything bad. You've got comedians, you've got everybody mm -hmm. saying stuff all the time. And now every day it's like, I apologize, I apologize, I apologize, and now I quit. She's got no mm. job. But you know the thing is, you're Bill, you're an avowed racist, so you must miss the days when you could say horrible things about people without recrimination. How dare you, Greg, and stay away from my literature I pass out after the show. Uh, here's the thing. There's a word that has come to pass lately that has destroyed any type of conversation. It is construed. Mm. You can say one thing, but if it could be construed to mean something else, you're screwed either way. This woman made a comment about Ben. Banditos. She's talking about the guys that kidnap people in Mexico. Right. What was construed is that it meant all of Mexico. Mm -hmm. I hate the word construed. For example, I, I, I could say I could say that Greg is a mentally disabled hobbit. Now that could be construed that I'm somehow making fun of little people, but no, indeed, I'm just making fun of mythological creatures. Oh, interesting. Oh, I yes. didn't realize that. Okay, when it comes That's to this crazy. next block, you're welcome. As for the multiple gunshots fired at your door last night, I'm sorry.
No. Should online bullies be thrown in jail? I hope not. My name is all over, catsorjerks.com. Okay.